first stop of the evening, we found ourselves two chairs and a satellite dish. I'll add that to the one little folding chair and table that was already on our trailer. Are these chairs aluminum? They might be. Let's find out. No, not aluminum. Oh well, let's see what we find. Is this a metal pole or a plastic pole? I think it's metal. Oh yeah, it's metal. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but I guess it all adds up, doesn't it? All right, here's a decent little piece of scrap. Yeah, nice little workout bike. All right, me and my brother are gonna grab this and load it up. Ah, little bits and pieces. That's a hose, we don't need the hose. All right, I guess I'll start with this. All right, I'm gonna need both hands and I'm gonna grab this and throw it in. Every time I go scrapping, I find a space heater. I thought it was gonna be a fan. No fans today. Well, we'll take the space heater. I'm gonna cut the cord off of that. We found ourselves one giant table frame, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna need both hands and see if I can fit it in the trailer. Found a wheelbarrow and some other scrap goodies. I'm sure that's not brass, but let's double check just to be safe. That very well might be brass, because it was not magnetic. All right, it's gonna go right in the front. Grab this and toss it. Oh, I see a green tank. Our scrapyard actually does take these. Where to put it? It's right there for now. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. A couple broom handles that really don't add up to anything. Nope. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, one lonely little folding chair. We'll take it. Oopsie. There we go, that's in there. What's this, a mixer on the curb? Missing its bowl? Some sort of little plastic piece. I don't know if you want that or not. But yeah, that's good and heavy. Yeah, we'll test that out, see if it works. Even missing the bowl, you might be able to be so. We're on the side of a very busy road, and we found these goodies laying here. That's plastic. our trailer and see if we can fit this in and so we loaded it all in all right we're gonna strap this down and see if we can find some more well I we'll see a vacuum cleaner with the cord so I'm just gonna take the cord that we have here well, that's like rock in the middle yeah, is that just painted like copper? Yeah, it's like yeah. ceramic. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll take that. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna say I'm double check with my magnet. Yeah, that's not magnetic. So, so it's probably copper. So it's probably worth taking it and just detaching that stone stuff. All right, we're gonna take it. Oh, found ourselves another chair. Well, feels like aluminum. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can add this on here somewhere. Yeah, let's see if it's aluminum. Yep, it is. Alright, I'm gonna load this in. Last second as we were driving by, spotted this microwave, so I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna load it's it a in. Cord cutting day. So I'm gonna grab the cord off of this thing. Another Black & Decker Weed Eater. All right, I think we're just about getting to the end of our uh, our loads tonight, but uh, we'll see if we find anything else in the next few streets. Well, we found ourselves a big old umbrella. A little bit of angle iron, so I'm gonna start with that. Go ahead. Just about got run over. All right, I'm gonna load these in. Well, found ourselves a fan. I think we are just about done. We're on a pretty busy road. So we made it back at home. My brother's taking that aluminum chair off. He's gonna quickly process that and keep the aluminum. But the rest of this is all gonna go to the scrapyard. We got an R8 load tonight. I am going to guess that this is gonna be uh, $75. That's my official prediction. All right, well, let's find out exactly what we got. Already, so we kept that KitchenAid mixer. My brother's gonna try to repair that and see if we can resell it. We also kept that uh, brass log holder. I cleaned that up and had two pounds of clean brass. And then the rest of it, we had 420 pounds of tin shred on the trailer, going for $265 per ton or 13.25 cents per pound for a grand total of $55.65. Alrighty, I will catch you in the next one.